Hey there. I was having a discussion with someone who I don't want to name because I don't know whether he'd want to be named, but uh, at a point in the discussion, I was talking about, you know, I believe that a meritocracy has a lot of value. That's, that's a very good thing. And he went on to basically say that he doesn't really care about merit. Merit shouldn't really be that important. And it, that, that whole concept of not thinking that that's important just is so foreign to me. I, I can't even wrap my mind around that. Um, without merit, I mean, without a sense of uh, feeling, being able to be proud that you're really good at something, what what value do you put on yourself in contrast to society what i mean if you don't have to be good at anything i don't know i just i i can't imagine this idea that well, the company should just break apart all these jobs into these things where it doesn't matter if anyone's really any good at anything. You just sort of you turn humans into these, you know, machinery or something, you know, so to speak. And you treat everyone like the lowest common denominator. And I just... Why would anyone try to to be better at anything? Eventually, I mean, just just that's just horrible. That's just awful. That's like that's like the most dystopic thing I can. One of the most dystopic things I can think of. I mean, that goes right along with a fully fascist kind of a, a system. You know, as, as far as you know, something that I dislike. I'm not saying that those are the same thing in any way. Uh, but uh, you know. Something that I, I think is a dis terrible dystopia. Um, and I very much dislike the idea of it. Um, but the whole idea of quotas, of these, these... Where businesses should hire based off of demographical stuff instead of someone's merit. I can't, you know, and when, when I, when I get put against that, when I get put up against that sort of thing and I start to say, and, and this is what, this is what's disappointed me so much when I made that last video about this subject, it, it's so disappointing to see that people really aren't going to be satisfied with just adding more people to the type of anti-discrimination policies that already exist. People aren't going to be satisfied with that. The argument is, well, you know, it's hard to prove in court. Yeah, but if you do this quota thing, the opposite is hard to prove in court. And the argument, I guess, at that point is, well, you know, at least they're trying to do something to uh, make things better. Oh, man. The amount of times you, you, you hear about someone trying to improve something and they ruin it. You know. Even simple things like recipes, food recipes, right? Well, I just want to make this improvement and it's it's done. It's ruined. It's 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 toast. Whatever it is. So when I when I see this this push for these this quota type of system to expand the whole uh, uh, affirmative action type of thing instead of going with the other types of uh, anti discrimination uh, policies, it makes me want to respond with no fuck it let everyone discriminate against whatever they want. I mean, if that's, if, if that other, if the quota shit is the only fucking goal, 
that can possibly happen out of anything more on the left. If, if you don't, if you're just, as I said, if you're just not going to be satisfied with adding more people to the already existing stuff, then fuck it. I don't want to live in some in some society where where merit doesn't matter anymore. No, fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> with a rusty screwdriver with with barbed uh wire or whatever, you know? Just fuck that. No. No, I don't want to live in a place like that. I would rather live in a segregated place than live in some shit like that. And it's pissing me off that I'm seeing this sort of thing more and more. Pisses me off. I go to Facebook and I look at the feed. Fuck. You know, I had taken a break from Facebook for a while and I go back to look at it and I'm just seeing more of the craziness. One guy was like, uh, uh, well, you know, all the people that, that are supporting Bernie, uh, 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 you know, on, on all of these comments, uh, do, do, see, do you see that most of them are white? Is that a coincidence? And I'm going, oh my God, just, and these are people I, 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 I would call my friends. I just want to just step away from Facebook again for a while. I think I will, because this is some stupid shit. I, I, I... God, the things that people are trying to grasp, to, to, to just hold on to. No, 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 Hillary was great. There wasn't anything wrong with her. There, it was a witch hunt against her. And all this, everything, you know, all these these external things uh, are, what, are what caused her to lose. It has nothing to do with, with, with her, her campaign. It has nothing to do with her connections and, and her the corruption that was shown um, no, nothing to do with that. Um, let's complain about anyone who was, was pointing out anything negative about her. And then, uh, uh, you know, go with the, uh, uh, the argument of, oh, you're misogynistic if you don't vote for her because, you know, um, she's a perfect candidate. Everything's perfect. She, she's worked so hard. Perfect. Well, no, no, she, she, she sucks. Nobody likes her. And so any attempt to try to say, can we salvage the, the Democratic Party? Because I think it's I think it's dead. I think it's like it's like as I've mentioned in other places, the, the Democratic Party right now is like a chicken with its head cut off. And uh, and the head that is uh, uh, that is that is left is is rolling down a slippery slope, declaring that everyone should pay no attention to the money behind the curtain and you know we you know what instead of a chicken maybe we should try some other animal right instead of being ch too chicken to stand up for what we believe in no no we, we need to try to pander to both sides when it comes to these candidates well no we, we need to have values we shouldn't be afraid to have values and you try to talk about this shit and it just goes right over their heads. Hillary was great. I'd vote for Hillary in 2020. Oh God, no, shut up. Fuck. Oh my God, they're so, you're, oh. God, these, some of these people are just idiots. God damn. You know? And I understand there's a lot more that goes into this. It can't be it can't be simplified to some of the degrees that things have been simplified. But man. I'm I'm watching the left completely fall apart. And we're all expected to line up with the corporatists. I'm afraid not. Oh. I'm suddenly thinking of a really bad joke. It's it's really bad. But um okay, there's this this piece of string that that goes into a bar. And uh, you know he tries to order something, and the bartender's no. I'm sorry, you don't. We don't serve strings here. We don't serve pieces of string here. 
you gotta go. He came back and tried wearing a mustache, and, and the bar no, I'm sorry, we, we don't serve pieces of string here. So, uh, the last time, he, the, the, the piece of string uh, looks all ratty, and he's all knotted up, and uh, comes into the bar, and the bartender said, "Look, I I told you I don't I don't uh, uh, serve pieces of string," and he goes, "But I I am afraid not." Okay, anyway, and I didn't tell the joke right, so, you know, <laughs> figures I'd mess up on the on the stupid joke that I that I was was stuck in my head when I said that. I think of it every time I hear "I'm afraid not." Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, won't be fooled again, right? <laughs> I, I don't know, I just... We're... There are so many things that are already very, very good about this country. And I'm seeing... I'm seeing some of the left wanting to throw away the things that are good about this country. I mean, I thought it was a good thing for people to... Um, I, I still think it's a good thing to, to have the sort of colorblind thing. You know, you just, ex you, know, you just accept that there are... that people look differently. You just accept that people have different cultures. You know, you don't... and you don't... like go out of your way in some patronizing manner towards those with different cultures. You just, you know, hey, people are people. There's always going to be things that people have in common, right? And we're, and when we're, 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 we're told that we, we shouldn't do that. And I've been involved in, in some of the, these mindsets that say that we, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we need to, to look at the differences more. And, and, you know, there are times when looking at the differences is, is important because you, you have to actually understand uh, uh, what the differences are to know. Uh, sometimes you have to know what the differences are to know what the similarities are. I mean, you got to get a you try to get a big pic, bigger picture of it. But um, I don't think we should be focusing on that to the point where we we're distancing ourselves from each other. We're uh, 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 God, what is it? We're, we're being divided. And I, I don't think that's a good thing. Um, but I still also think that, uh, people should stand up for their values. And I don't see the Democratic Party right now really standing up for their values, except for a, a, a select few. That's why I do like the Justice Democrats. I, I like the concept of it. I'm, I'm hoping it, it catches on. Um, I think it. I think it needs to catch on because we need to get the crap out of the Democratic Party. We, you know, the Democratic Party needs an anima. So. Anyway. <laughs>